to the record man, it's there. Yeah, who cares? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Um, I know we're an awful lot is uh, said after the sort of defeat you had against Real Madrid on Tuesday about how you react. Is it a case now of, of working on um, specifics or, or is it more about lifting morale and confidence and how do you go about that? Do you watch the game back immediately with the players? With the players? No. No, no, no. We have, um, yes, of course we watch it back and um, but not the whole game together with the players. It's now no, no time for that really. No. Um, same with training. So it's not that you can work now on a lot of stuff in between. Wednesday and Saturday game, that's not possible. But um, anyhow, we are obviously using the information from the game, it's clear. So, but we have to understand 100%, and um, I've said it now plenty of times, I don't read a lot um, anyway, but um, when you lose a game like this, it makes absolutely no sense to, to read or listen to people who are talking about us. But I know 100% how the reflex is. And um, Conceding five in a home game in the Champions League is absolutely not acceptable. I know that, but it happened anyway, so we cannot change that anymore. Uh, the way we concede the goals, um, we can change, um, not for that game, but in general, and we have to. Um, but the start of the game was a good one anyway. It was good. It was not only 20 minutes. I know after then we conceded, but it was the first half was a really good half. Could score another goal. Um, maybe should have scored in that situation, um, and then the second half had a. Yeah, the worst start for us. So what you can see, what I saw in this game is that, um, yes, um, a lot of things are back, but not stable yet. So that's uh, pretty much what you what you can make of it. That's why we then conceded the goals. You are three two down, and um, it's clear <laughs> you want a result for the next game. And um, a three two is not a perfect. When you lose three two, it's not a perfect result, but it's much better than five two. Um, and so, um, yeah, it was a night which was not really helpful, um, but still we have to work with it and that's what we did and um, so now we are here and prepared um, for two days already and today again the, 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 the game against Crystal Palace and, and yeah, hopefully can do the, can learn the right things and use the right things and, um, and get some points. Yeah, it's going to be a, a difficult task, isn't it, to make further progress in the Champions League so that obviously qualifying for next season's Champions League through the league position becomes absolutely paramount for you now, so but you have a real chance with two matches, the Palace and Wolves game, with both of those, and you're, you're right back in the, in the hunt for, for fourth place, aren't you, before the likes of Newcastle even, even play a game? Big games, yeah, so that's it's a fact on the table, but we should not involve the Wolves game already, and we should not... Um, um, uh, consider the three points already in our pocket or whatever. It's not like this. It's a really tough game. So um, Crystal Palace has, um, result-wise, not not a perfect spell as well. So um, since the World Cup, but performance-wise, it looks much better. So we had a, a really deep look into what they did, um, and it's a, it's a really talented team, a really well set up team. Uh, probably in a four-two-three-one, a lot of technique on the pitch, speed on the pitch, um, mixed with with experience, but. Change. So I, I really respect a lot what Palace is doing for years, um, and and how they bring all these offensive players, especially together, and 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 keep them in the club for that long and stuff like this. It's really, it's really, um, really good. So yes, will be a tough one, but yes, of course, um, for us, all the games from now on are Champions League qualifiers. That that's how it is, and nobody knows if we if we can do it because not only in our hands, but um, getting three points um, would. Uh, bring us in the right direction, and that's uh, obviously something we want to do, but uh, we know it's difficult. I know you, you just said earlier there that you, you don't listen to all the noise that's made after these sort of defeats from the likes of us in the media. I know, I know it's difficult to shut that out as well. It's people, not. <laughs> a lot of people calling for you know change on the back of a defeat in terms of the, the team lineup, etc. Are you tempted to, to shake things up after a defeat and bring the likes of Jota, Firmino, who are probably ready to start again now. What about Ibrahima Kanate? Is he anywhere near playing? Uh, Ibu is near, but had two sessions with us after a long injury, so that makes sense. We, we can see when the boys come on now that they are not at their best in the moment. They need the minutes and everything will get better, but that's exactly the situation we have. So it's, um, um, we are not sure if all the play boys can, could even play again uh, after, after Madrid because of um, some knocks here and there. So we are really not 100% clear, so then we have to make changes and we want to make and we will make changes anyway, but um, it's not that you come back after a long injury and just 
it's clicking again. So uh, we have the situation now with Bobby and 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 Diogo. You can see it with Virgil as well. Everybody expects Virgil always uh, like a like a robot, pretty much. Now he's into. He played the most games last year. Played the World Cup every game, pretty much uh, for at least for his country. Came back from first second, played for us, got injured, comes back, plays, plays, plays. So that's the situation. Um, that's not perfect, but it's um, what we have to go through. So that's why I know. I don't say everything what people say around us is is wrong, not 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 at all, but most of the things are not right as well. So that's how it is. But we know that we have to that we have to improve. We know that we have to change things, and we, we will. We cannot do that now, but it's all it's already clear. But um, that we have to do something in the summer that's clear. But for now, we just have to go through this and 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 fight back. And I saw again. The f you can lose against Real Madrid, but I don't think a lot of teams can cause them the problems we caused them in the first 20, 25 minutes. So that, that's again, that's some, that's a, a sign of quality as well. So um, I don't always interested in it because it was only 20 minutes, and then you lose a game. Um, but it's still very important for us that we that I could see that that why, why that's why I was not in a in an overly bad mood afterwards because as yes, if you make the mistakes we made. Yeah, then it's really difficult or impossible to get anything about it. But uh, there was some good stuff which I didn't see for a long, long time, and um, I was really happy about that. And so now let's try to keep that um, into our in our patterns and in our game, and then we will see. Virgil did say he's not a robot, by the way. No, he is not. He did after the game. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, because that's. Uh, I, I didn't read that or he listened to him, but it's it's true. It, yeah, he is not. I knew that before, by the way. <laughs> Seven points off the top four, but with games in hand, is that now the absolute main target, the main focus for the rest of the, of this campaign? Would you have any other for us available? Um, yes, European football. So okay, when it's Liverpool and we play all the time Champions League, nobody asks me now. Will ask me, well, you can make the, Euro the Conference League or the European League stuff like this. European football, yes, and Champions League. We said it 500 million times, and rightly so for the club. It's incredibly important that we qualify for it. Um, we are all, I'm not sure, but some people are for sure a bit spoiled because we, that was in a, in a very difficult league. We did it quite early in the last few years. Um, that we were always qualified for the Champions League apart from two years ago, I think. Um, and so this year will be a later decision, definitely, um, if we can do it. But we need points for that. We don't have to talk about it. The only way to, to get there is to gain more, to, 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 to win more points than our opponents. Because at the moment they all have more points than us, most of them. And um, so we have to make sure that we really that we really keep going. Yes, and that's why we all have to make sure that this highlight game against Real Madrid, everybody was positive, winning two games before, and now maybe in the right moment. Then 20 minutes, everybody thought, OK, yeah, it was the right moment. And it was the wrong moment after that. So we cannot always go like this through a season. We need to find some consistency in the way we play. It's not all. Emotions are very important, but it cannot be all about emotions. It's all, all about, today I feel great, tomorrow I don't feel that well, and stuff like this. We have just to, 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 to start believing 100% in ourselves again and really um, bring our quality on the pitch. And that's now the thing for tomorrow. We have to be tomorrow an incredible, uncomfortable opponent to play for Crystal Palace. That's all. And we don't have to think too much about if at all, about Champions League or whatever. It's about three points. That's our Champions League tomorrow and nothing else. Sellers Park on a Saturday night will be a raucous uh, place to go. We've got a very good record there. Do you enjoy going there? I can't say I enjoy it. I like I like the... I heard now that we have a, a good record there, but I, if, if you would have asked me, I would have said, wow, incredible difficult games, always uh, really tough. Um, yes, great atmosphere. I actually hope it's on Saturday night in London people go out and don't go in the stadium, to be honest, but um, maybe they will first go in the stadium. Um, no, yeah, it's a great place to play football. I really respect a lot what they are doing because it's. Um, I think it's really tough in London between all these massive clubs and then finding a way um, over the years, I learned that their um, youth department, at least one hundred percent, used to be outstanding. I don't know exactly how it is now, but some really interesting young players. Um, we had some here um, who, who came through the academy. So yes, really, really cool club um, in a in a really cool stadium. Yeah, I, I only remember super difficult games. Carlos, Hi, um, your last six goals have come for you from three, two each. Um, how excited are you to see them developing 
it's not hard. We have too many games to to make it hard to come into games that we have play now. We cannot play all the time with exactly the same. It's, it's, there were times, obviously, when uh, Sadio and Mo were very young, and, uh, and 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 Bobby was ever. They then maybe they played a lot of games, but even then we needed we needed. Uh, so yes, it's good. I said it. The goals against Newcastle, especially, were, were real were real team goals. Were real playing together. That was helpful, um, but. Um, we have to make changes. We cannot change. We, we cannot change that. And um, but each minute they can play together, all the boys, is obviously very helpful because that 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 improves the understanding. And um, you could see that with the goals. And you mentioned after the game you know, that you uh, need to make sure that that game doesn't damage confidence. Um, how do you go about building that confidence? Is it hard when confidence isn't like a hundred percent? Is it difficult to build the players? I, I yeah. So um, everything what happens in life um, has influence on confidence. Uh, recently, I, I scratched my car. So since then, I drive through around corners like <laughs> like this. So that's and I, I drive 37 years. I have the license, I think, and I had never a, a, real, a real accident. But it's like everything has influence on confidence. But then after a few miles, you realize, oh, I was just unlucky. So maybe I can just drive normal again. Um, so, yeah, but it's it's about you. Nobody gives you confidence. You have to let it happen. So as I can tell what to tell you whatever I want. If you think yeah, I'm rubbish anyway. So I, I I cannot change that now in five minutes. So it's just about. But there are a lot of reasons. That's a lots of reasons why the boys should be confident. And I saw a lot of these reasons in the last game. So if you can cut out the disappointment for the whole world, especially the Liverpool world, and the five goals, and all these kind of things, and that people say we are not good enough anymore, and stuff like this. We can cut that out. Then you have to then you have to try to, to focus on the good things as well. And then let's go from there. So there's a chance. But in the end, it's always a challenge. And it will never be easy. Though um, it's not now, we are not in a... Um, still not, how I said. A lot of good things, but not stable yet. And we have to work on that stability. We have to, because the good things are really good and will be good forever. But then we have to make sure that we don't suffer from the few things that don't work out that well. Julia. Um, yeah, you're just picking up really on that because you, you said that you were in an overly bad mood. So I just wondered what you've spoken about emotion a lot today and, and in other press conferences as well. What that emotion of the players were then um, on Tuesday? Was it anger into frustration or just frustration? Or, and, and how do you, would you say? Did you ever meet a person who can tell you about the mood exactly of, of another group? So I see the players and I tell them how I feel, but I don't ask them now individually, um, and you, and you, and you, and you. So that's that's how it is. That's why I say when things go go well, it's really about the players. I mean that. If it's not going well, it's about me. So my job is to make sure that they listen to me and believe and I tell them this was good and that was good and that was always the case so far so um, I try to help the players with all I can and but I cannot switch social media off for them so and and, and these kind and cannot switch off in general media Ugh. So like don't have a look at it and stuff like this and if you look have a look at it, don't believe what they say believe what I say these kind of things so but they are not well, at least not all of them are kids anymore so that's it's just they know how to deal with it with this thing it's not the first setback we got in in the whole time yes this year it feels like it's it, uh, there are a, a few too many absolutely so and there will be there will be, we go to Madrid and we try to win the game there's no doubt about that, um, but then we will see what, what that will lead to. But that's only in a few weeks. Now we have to make sure that we, in a, uh, in a, in a, in a tricky Premier League season, that we get this turnaround in general. That we get around really around the corner and then can can go from there. That we can we have to chase everybody. We have to chase the whole league. That's how it is. Everybody's run by needs to feel uh, and, and smell <laughs> our breath. So, um, because it's really, it's really important that we that we get that back, that edge back, and we had that in the in the two games, obviously, um, and now different competition. Yes, when you win, you want you want to to build on the result. When you lose, you have to get rid of it. That's how it is. When you mention that, we always say, oh my God, but the Champions League was not that. Good. Yeah, because the opponent was really good. I don't I don't know a lot of teams who would have used our mistakes, the few mistakes we made. Um, in a manner 
Real Madrid did or Vinicius Junior did or, or Karim Benzema did. Um, and that's why uh, we don't play them all every, ta- every time. So we, we, we play now against Crystal Palace and we respect them a lot. But we have to cause them problems, as, at least as many as they can cause us. What? Uh, you what is it? What, yeah, what, what, what would be the other so, scenario? No, no, not so much. It's not so much. It, it, uh, we are all influenced by the by the, re- the things that happened recently. That's all, of course. Okay, but we are not that dumper. It's not like oh, today was not good, and now we have to change. So this is clear. It was always clear. This team has a has a wonderful history, and most of them and stuff like this is always clear. When you, you, the way we the, this club is leaded um, by not what is that splashing the money or whatever, just have a look um, if it works out or not. Our transfers always have to be on point. So that makes it really tricky. We, we, we cannot make four, transfer, four transfers before we know who will leave the club and stuff like this. So these kind of things. But And last year, we, that's, I said it now, I cannot tell how often I can say it. I knew it will be tricky. And that was one of the main reasons why I signed a new contract, to make sure, okay, come on, you know, people are not on top of all that have to discuss, yeah, and then he leaves next year. And not because I'm that great, just because imagine the same situation with another coach. So everybody would have said, bring Klopp back. And it's good, we don't have that. Some of them won't be out, it's fine, I, I can understand that as well. But it's, it's not about that, it's just about, it's about a club and the stability and what we can get in. So last year now was not a season for a big change. There was no devil, we played until the last moment. And if you want to change, again, this club, you cannot just bring in new players and realize then later, oh, nobody wants to leave. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. So that's why it's not possible. It's not possible to do to start it early because we had final after final after final. Played the season until last match. Played the Champions League final. And these. Then we have a short break, and then we have um, a lot of injuries, and then the World Cup. So boop. It's like on all the problems we knew we will have, this, this came on top. So and now we are in it. And I know it's too long, and it's for me too long because I have to face always you in this in, in this press conference. Or believe me, I don't like to talk about it all the time, but I have to think it all the time. That's but that's not as bad as to, to talk about it, to be honest, because um, I don't have to read it the next day, pretty much um, what I think. And um, so that's the that's the situation. I cannot change it now that we, that no, the people are not happy. We try to fight through and make the best out of this season. That's the idea, and stay in that all the period. As good as a person as you can. So as I have said, the, the, the better you behave in a moment like this, the better the times will be after it. And the more useful the times, the bad times are, because they have to be useful. There's, otherwise, they are completely useless. Imagine that in all our lives, that, that we wouldn't have learned from our, from our failures. We wouldn't have learned from the moments when things didn't go well. So we would not be the same people. So we have to learn from this well, and we will. But now we are in this heated atmosphere where we lose a game, everybody out, we win a game, oh, give him a new contract, and all these kind of things, and you think, oh, well, it's all be quick. So I, I, I'm too old for that. So we have, to, we have to make our own plans, and that's what we do, but based on the way this club is, um, is leaded. So it's obviously different to other clubs. So well, that's how it is, but it worked out so far, and we have to see if it will work still, or if we have to ch- adapt, let me say it like that. But that's something for, for us, in the offices when we are not on the training pitch and for us for my conversation with the owners and all these kind of things but that's that's it nothing else just work